In this video, we will show you the different ways there are to add panels to your processor. The main two methods are online and offline. Depending on which processor you are using, there are different options once the panels have been added onto your canvas. We are going to use an M2 for the purpose of this video, as the M2 and T1 offer more options when placing fixtures onto the canvas, whereas panels can only be rotated by 90 degree iterations on the SX40, S4 and S8. Because we are using the offline editor for the M2, we only have the option to add offline panels. However, later in the video, we will be using an SX40 to associate panels from network and associate offline panels to the ones connected to our processor. We will start by creating our canvas, which in this case is 1920 by 1080 pixels. Click the Add Fixtures from Library button and then on the right hand side select the panels you will be using. In my case, I have chosen the Row Visual Black Pearl panels. Next, draw a 3x3 grid of panels by dragging from the top left to the bottom right on your canvas and then release the mouse button. Now, using the menu on the right hand side, we will change things like the distance between our panels, both horizontal and vertical. We can also rotate our 3x3 three three grid or each panel individually. Finally, we can set the topology of our panels and how they are cabled. There are many options here to select this at the bottom. You can also arrange your panels into other shapes. I'm going to add some panels to the canvas and then select the circle option. Now you can see the options available. You can also select radial, which offers other creative ways to arrange your fixtures that emanates from the center and allows strips of panels to be specified and then expand from that point. This is useful for creating stars and crosses. Be aware that any panels that you rotate outside of 90 degree iterations will double the capacity of the panel to the processor. This is because any rotated panel is actually processed as a square drawn around the panel at 45 degrees. You can see this in the picture. We are now going to switch to the SX40 to show adding fixtures from network and how to associate fixtures you have placed already. I have already created a 3x3 three three grid of black pearl panels and panels are connected to the processor however are yet to be associated. Click the add from network button and then select the string of nine fixtures you want to add. Now click the first panel from your offline panels that you want to add. The remaining panels on the string will then be highlighted by an arrow and if you press enter the rest of them will be associated. When you click the last panel a small green circle will appear in the top right of the panels to indicate they are associated with the processor. We covered Add From Network in a previous video, but just to recap, click the Add From Network button, select the panels by pressing the number on the keyboard which coincides with the number now displayed on your panels, and draw them onto the canvas. Now we have covered adding offline and online panels to the canvas, and ways that they can be used creatively. See you in the next tutorial.